Hello and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, I recorded the solve earlier um, and then I thought actually this is quite a good puzzle to look at in a slightly different way. Um, it's a puzzle where the wordplay can really help you. Uh, there's, a, there's a few answers here that are difficult. They're either you know, difficult words or require a bit of general knowledge, but um, the wordplay gets you through this puzzle even if there are gaps in your knowledge. And so I thought what we might do is work through some of the uh, some of the clues and just talk about them. Um, now where should we start? I mean this clue is a good example. It's the final across clue. No amateur baddie to hold off for a while. Now you're doing well I think if you read this clue and you come up with a a word meaning to hold off for a while, which is the definition, fits eight letters, um, and you manage to you know, cold solve this, if you like, without looking at the wordplay. Um, it's a slightly odd word in the sense that I think it means to dissolve parliament and things like that, and to you know, defer things in that sense. Um, so how do we get the answer without knowing the meaning or the actual word in question? No amateur. Well, if you see no amateur, I think there's two choices you have to make with a, with a crossword, times crossword. You could have that construction or even that construction, because I think A can be an abbreviation for amateur. And, you know, perhaps very cryptically, an OA could therefore indicate no amateur, as in zero amateur. More likely, though, it's a simpler thing, and if you're not an amateur, you're a pro. So pro, and then we need a five-letter word, which means baddie here. Now, some of you, therefore, may be able to write this in, but rogue, pro-rogue is one of those words that I think you, know, you only tend to come across uh, either in history books or in uh, Times Crosswords. Um, but there you go. You could get there with the wordplay. 15 down is also a clue that I think almost uh, defies solving without resorting to the wordplay. So good sort, this person's high class with endless desire for encouragement. Now, the word for there is helpful because when we see the word for in, in a crossword clue, quite often the next word or the next series of words will be the definition. Because what the compiler compiler's saying is, look, do all this stuff with the wordplay, and that, that will create, that will give you, um, you'll come up with um, the, the answer to the definition. So for here is being used in that sense. So how can we use this wordplay in order to come up with an eight-letter word for encouragement? Well, Good sort, this person's high class with endless desire. There's a lot going on there. And in fact, there's four different pieces of wordplay, believe it or not, in this clue. Good sort, though, that that's very often a saint. If you see that, um, always try and fit an ST in. This person, well, let's come back to that. High class, if you see high class, always be thinking of the letter U as in upper class, that is one of the abbreviations that is valid. So we're looking for ST, then something to do with this person, we don't know what that is yet. And then we can put a U in, and then with endless desire. So we need a short synonym for desire that we're going to shorten still further in order to get it to fit into the clue. Now, problem with desire is there are a lot of short synonyms for desire, you know, want, wish, um, desire could be a yen um, so not easy not easy to come up with the right one but, but I think with this start and with a U here you might be able to now come up with a word for encouragement and almost back solve into the answer so I'm going to put the answer now stimulus so this person was I'm believe it or not <laughs> Then we've got the U for upper class, and then we've got lust without its final T, with the whole thing meaning encouragement. So very unusual, I think, to see four different bits of word play in an eight-letter word. Um, but that is what happened in this clue. 20 across. Cats, those in need of medical treatment, it seems. Mm, well, this is a tricky one. I mean, 
I got this just because I had all the letters and then could then think of a correct synonym. But even then, it took a moment's pause in order to come up with um, quite why it was the right answer. When we see phrases like it seems, quite often we need to think about you know, the answer as some sort of pun. So I'll type in the answer and we can see if we can work out why it is the answer. So cats are mouses. Um, pause if you need to. See if you can think about why, why this is the right answer. And the answer lies in uh, the fact that MO can be quite often an abbreviation for a, for a doctor. You know, I mean, we've talked a lot about a number of different abbreviations for doctors that are valid. You know, DR, MB, GP, etc. But MO is a reasonably common one. And then MO user would be somebody in need of medical medical treatment. So that's what the compiler is getting at there. Very clever, very clever clue. I liked it a lot. Um, let's carry on and see if we can find any other um, examples of what I thought were difficult words. I mean, this one, one dedicated old boy no longer with us. Um, old boy, if you see that, you can always be thinking of OB. And then it's just a question of where the OB is coming here. Obviously, OB is much more likely to be at the start of an answer. So probably try that first. And we need a four-letter word for no longer with us. And it's going to give a six-letter word, which means one dedicated. Now, here the answer is oblate. Now, some people may know oblate as a sort of geometric term meaning you know I think it's a sphere that's squashed on two sides it can be described as oblate um, but I think also oblate means somebody who's a bit religious uh, who's part of the general population or something so it's it's an odd word I wouldn't confess to knowing exactly what it means um, but the wordplay here gives us a lot of confidence that this must be the right answer. OB plus late, which clearly means no longer with us. We can slap that in with, with a bit of confidence, I think. Um, now let's carry on. This was a nice clue. Matter is poisonous, quietly knocking out 10. So we needed to think of a five letter word here for poisonous. And then we need to, the quietly, which uh, P we often see as a, uh, an abbreviation for quietly on uh, musical scores. That's going to knock out the X, the Roman numeral for, for 10. And if we do that correctly, we can come up with topic, which is certainly a matter. Communist leader is one who joined Spurious League. Well, those of you who know your Sherlock Holmes won't have had any difficulty with this one. Communist leader is a red head. Carry on. This was this was tricky. Getting rid of a whole lot of players, no good. Um, well, those of you who support Liverpool like me may uh, may have expressed this wish once or twice over the weekend. But getting rid of here is the definition. A whole lot of players, believe it or not, is an eleven here. And then 11 is in Roman numerals is XI. So we've got A, which is this plain text there, A. whole lot of players, or well, XI is in an 11. And then no good, believe it or not, can be abbreviated to NG. It's, it's really mean when the compilers use NG for no good, because very often in the cryptic reading, no good would mean remove a G, which I think we're very used to seeing. But here... No, it's a bit more uh, subtle than that. But axing there is the answer. Somewhat unusually for a times crossword, I think there were three cryptic definitions in this in this crossword altogether. Uh, Nineteen down was one of them. Session with some late arrivals. Well, um, here you need to think of late arrivals as in dead people. So, what sort of session might incorporate some dead people arriving on the scene? Well, if you could think about it in that sense, seance was reasonably is reasonably easy to come up with. Um, but I completely understand why uh, some people may have stumbled over that clue. Um, are there any others I want to talk about? 
And that was okay, that was okay. I mean, this was another piece of general knowledge. I certainly was not aware of this word, three down. But here we have our famous hidden answer. There's always going to be one of these in every times crossword. It can be a hidden forward or reversed. But forest, and then we've got not all. Not all is the crucial words here, i.e. we only want to take some of the next string of letters. And then coming up is saying, read them backwards. And you can see in there, A-R-G-O-N-N-E, argon, which... Uh, I presume is a forest. I haven't actually checked, but when I submitted my answer with that in it, it seemed to accept it as correct, so I presume that's right. Um, yeah, not easy, but as usual, the wordplay helps us out. Similarly, one across, Old Roman watering hole provides a mineral. Well, even if you don't know the name of this mineral, there are ways of working it out. I put in some of the checking letters, which were, I think, gettable them all in. Let's see if we can work out from the wordplay what this answer must be. So we've got Old Roman here. Watering hole. Well a watering hole I think that could be a pub, it could be a bar. Let's try bar at the end then because that would be the only place it would seem to naturally fit. And now we need a five letter Old Roman that fits this pattern. Well I guess the Times crossword won't clue uh, this person by reference to the Hunger Games just yet, but um, Cinna was a reasonably famous Roman of the days of yore. Uh, and if you know that Cinnabar, that is in fact the name of, a, I think, a red mineral of some sort or another. Um, so, a very good crossword today, as usual. Um, this was, I think this was one-eyed, wasn't it? 17 down. Oh, need around ye for you. Um, another, another reasonably difficult word play, but um, yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit different today and focus a bit more on um, the structure of the clues and how the clues can help you out, even in the absence of knowledge, either either general knowledge, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with the Red-Headed League and the uh, Sherlock Holmes stories, you're not familiar with the name of the mineral here or this precise meaning of the word oblate. If you've never heard of the word prorogue, I don't think anyone could blame you. These are a lot of these words are only words you'll ever see in the Times crossword. But having said that, the setter always gives us a chance. And um, today I think you could have solved the puzzle without having these bits of knowledge at your disposal. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.